Reading code quickly is a useful skill for a developer, and some people are better at it than others. But there is good news. There are shortcuts to expertise. I've talked in previous videos about how there is a part of your brain that works a bit like an AI, and you can use it to train new skills quickly. Spotting code smells like deep nesting is a code reading technique, and it lends itself to this learning approach. In this video, I'll explain how it works, and then we're going to train your brain to read code faster. Hi, I'm Emily Bache. I'm a software developer and creator of Saman Coaching. Welcome to my channel. If you like what you see here, please hit subscribe and like. You can also support me via Patreon. Check out the links in the show notes. A human brain is the most complex structure in the known universe. You keep an amazing asset between your ears. And this is perhaps related because software today is also amazingly complex. Coding is pretty taxing on the brain. As developers, we actually spend more of our time reading code than writing it. And reading code is also difficult. It's not like reading a novel for pleasure. So when you read code, you usually have a specific purpose. You want to find the part you need to change in order to make the software work the way you want it to. And reading complex code can be difficult. Before you can get to changing the code, you need to understand how it's structured and which parts are important to look at more closely. A code smell is a sign that there could be a design problem in some code. And particularly if you're hunting for a bug, that could be a really useful clue. This video is about identifying the deep nesting code smell. And that indicates there's likely too much complexity in that part of the code. I mean, code is often nested. It wouldn't be unusual to have a for loop with an if statement inside it, which would be two levels of nesting. Deep nesting can be a problem though. Brain research shows that you can only hold about four things in your short-term memory at once. So when you're reading nested code, each one of those nesting structures will probably take up at least one of those slots. So anything with four or more levels of nesting is likely going to overwhelm your short-term memory and be too difficult to understand. That's deep nesting. It can be dangerous to change code that you don't understand. You don't want to have code with that kind of cognitive load in your system. Deep nesting is fairly easy to detect. Not by reading the code word by word and line by line, by looking at it on the screen as if it were a picture. Deep nesting makes this visual impact on the code and you can spot it with visual pattern matching. And that's what we're going to train in a minute by looking at lots of samples of code, some of which have deep nesting and some that don't. Before that, though, I wanted to say something about where these code samples come from, because you need a lot of code samples for this kind of video training. I'm very grateful to Adam Turnhill, who helped me to find all these code samples. Adam and his company, CodeScene, have developed software that detects various code smells, including deep nesting. He gathers examples from open source software to use in their machine learning systems. Adam and I are both working towards a goal of raising code quality in the world. This was an opportunity we found to help one another. The same kind of data that you can use to train an AI can also train a person. I think there's a real benefit to having a tool that can point out code quality problems like deep nesting. But I also think we need to train programmers to recognize when they're looking at a code smell. It will obviously help you to understand what the code analysis tool is telling you, but it's also helpful in and of itself. Programmers that can easily spot code smells are more likely to write better code and work more effectively with other people's code. As a coach, I've met plenty of developers who just don't react to deep nesting. And even if you do, you can always learn to spot it faster and more reliably. What we're going to do now is train your brain to be able to spot the deep nesting code smell. In a minute, I'm going to show you loads of code samples. And each time some code appears on the screen, you need to decide, is this deeply nested or is it flat enough? So you're going to say out loud either nested, nested or flat. flat. And a chorus of voices will join you as you speak. The correct answer will appear on the screen, and that's going to reinforce the learning. You're going to see and hear and speak the right answer. So do talk out loud. 
and make an effort to get the answer right because you want to practice making judgments and reinforce the correct ones. Over time, the slides appear for a shorter and shorter length of time, which is deliberate because your visual processing is fast and it gets faster as you learn. Are you ready? Flat. Nested. Flat. 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 Nested. Nested. Flat. 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 Nested. 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 Flat. Flat. Nested. Flat. 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 Nested. Nested. Flat. Flat. Nested. 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 Flat. 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 Nested. Nested. Flat. 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 Nested. 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 Flat. Flat. Nested. Nested. Flat. Flat. Nested. Flat. Nested. Flat. Nested. Nested. Flat. 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 Nested. 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 Flat. Flat. Nested. Flat. Nested. Flat. Nested. 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 Flat. Flat. Nested. 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 Flat. 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 Nested. Flat. 
Nested. Flat. Flat. Nested. 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 Flat. 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 Nested. 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 Great stuff. Hopefully now you'll notice a difference when you're browsing sections of your production code that you haven't seen before. Your brain should be primed to subconsciously spot the patterns in the text that indicate a deep nesting code smell. And you're gonna be able to take that seriously and do something about it. There is an upcoming guided learning hour where we're gonna talk more about deep nesting and test out your newfound code smell spotting skills. So do subscribe so you don't miss out. Until then, happy coding.